Mistake number three, okay? Now we're moving into an area called vesting, okay? Here, here's the mistake, I get this call. This one, this one kills me. This one, again, may not be fixable. It's uh, two, three guys got together, they launched their startup. It's now six months down the road, a year down the road. Maybe they formed the corporation on LegalZoom, maybe they formed an LLC, but what they didn't do is set up vesting schedules. So for those who aren't familiar with vesting schedules, it's pretty standard, it's not rocket science. What it means is that uh, with two guys using that example, say we say, hey, we're gonna split our equity 50-50. You don't just get the 50% and I own my 50%, you kind of earn it over four years. It vests on a monthly basis. So if, for example, one co-founder leaves in six months, and using that example, you would take 66 divided by 48, which is 1 eighth, and he had 50%, so he would keep roughly 6%, and the other 44% would be purchased by the company and go back to the company. So now the company can go forward, you can get other people involved. Otherwise, he now splits three months, six months, for whatever reason. Maybe he just wants to get, if it gets married, he moves to Florida, moves to Hawaii. It wouldn't be fair for him to keep half the company, right? Or three guys, a third, a third, a third, and that's the issue, you know? And so what happens there? Well, if you don't have vesting schedules, the only thing you can do is try to negotiate with him or her and try to get your shares back, but sometimes that could be contentious, right? Particularly if people haven't left on good terms. One guy tries to screw the other guy, T you know, fuck you, man, I got my 50%, you know, see ya. Now what? So that, that's a tough one. Vesting, so as I said, it's typically a four-year schedule. The other thing is when and VCs come in, let's say you're doing really well, you've raised a little money, you've gotten some traction, now your angel investor introduced you to some VCs, they're, they're psyched, they're gonna go forward. They're also gonna require you, as a lot of founders don't understand this, even if you haven't set up a vesting schedule, they're gonna say to you, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll put in two million bucks, but you're gonna set up a four-year vesting schedule. You're like, wait a second, that, that means I'm kind of giving back my share isn't the sense, that, that's right. Because they're, they're investing in you, they want you there. So if I've gone ahead initially, today, and set up my vesting schedule, when I talk to the VCs a year down the road, year in, they might say, okay, cool, you got this in place, so it just, you know, we'll just run out for the other three years. So that's another reason to do that. <laughs>